We're glad you're here. Let's stand up tonight. Bow our heads and ask the Lord to help us. Brother Peterman, would you mind opening us up in prayer tonight?
Captain, where are we going to go to tonight? You said we were pulling out of Salvation We're pulling out. I mean, wasn't Salvation Seacoast wonderful? It was wonderful. Because it's most people's favorite stop to make on the journey down. In fact, you can't go anywhere else. Now let's just stop at Salvation Seacoast. If you don't stop at Salvation Seacoast first, then you never can make it to heaven. That's because right. Because you've got to stop there to get your ticket to right. get on board the Savior ship to make it to heaven. Man, the weather was so nice last night at Salvation Seaport. We saw the stars and such a beautiful day today. Yeah. Where are we heading to today? You're trying to have the helper to open the map for us. Whoa.
can learn all of this memory verse, okay? And we had, we even had some younger ones that said the whole memory verse, so I'm proud of these. This is found in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 4. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. You see, I wrote promises real big because that's what we're talking about tonight. We're going to promise court. So we want our memory verse to be about promises. Who can tell me what exceeding, that's a big word, what does exceeding mean? Does anybody know what exceeding means? Exceeding means above and beyond. Like, if you was wanting a bicycle for your birthday, and your birthday came, and you not only got a bicycle, but you got streamers that came off the handles, and you got a basket that came on it, and you got little clickers that went on the wheel, and it was amazing, the bicycle. So that bicycle would have went exceeding what you, above what you ever even thought you'd get, right? Yeah, that's what exceeding is, above. So any promise that we can think of, God goes past that. He exceeds it. All right, ready? Second Peter 1, 4. And then 
then she'll give us a piece of the treasure map to tell us where the key is hidden so we can get in the box. All right. I'm glad you found me now. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Listen up there, Krabby Lou. Get the popcorn right. out of your ears. Would never destroy the 
the whole world, but the flood didn't do it. What's another promise God gave us? He promised us that if we would confess our sins, that he would be faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. You're right. That he, when he died on the cross, he said if we would come and confess, he would save us. Another promise? You got another one? That he would give us mercy? You're right. Even when we don't deserve it. That he would be merciful. You're right, Captain. These right. sailors. Here you go. Here's your, here's your point. These sailors, they are so smart. We've been wow. talking about the promises that oh, God yeah? gives us in his word. Well, good promise. What did Cook promise? Is that where you've been yeah. talking to Cook? Yes, fresh fish of them other sailors can catch us on for supper. I hope they can catch some mahi mahi. Oh, I love uh, mahi mahi. That's my favorite fish. Hey, you got a story to tell us? I do have a story, Captain. I can tell you a story. This story is about a ship. Well, How many of you yes. have ever been on a cruise? Question this this summer and not a whole lot of people have been on have you been on a cruise for you? Cool. That's cruises are really, really neat, I heard. We've never been on one, but we I we should be going on one in May for Madeline's her senior trip. So I'm excited about that. But in our story, if you've never been on a cruise boat, you've probably been on a fishing boat. Some of you have been on a fishing boat, or in a canoe, or a kayak. Yeah. Well, in our story, the steamship prayer, it's about a boy and a girl that were going on vacation. A vacation on a big boat. That would be really cool to be on a big boat. Well, this big cruise ship, it was a steamboat. And it was steaming down, down the arbor in England, and it was sailing towards America. So these two kids were from England. There was tons and tons of people on board, but it was kind of boring for kids. It wasn't like the cruise ships today that had everything on it for playgrounds and everything for kids to play with. So this boy and girl, when they met each other, Bobby and Joe became fast friends. Well, they played all day on the deck, and Bobby was really smart. You know what Bobby brought with him? A ball, a big bouncy ball, so he could play with it on the cruise ship. So Bobby and Joe were bouncing the bouncy ball backwards and forth, backwards and forth to each other on the cruise ship. Well, you know what happened? The ball over the top. It did. Right there it goes, right over the rail. They have played with it for so long and they have bounced it way too high this time and bounced.
Well, the next day, Joan, she didn't have the ball to play with Bobby with, so she had a doll up on top of the deck. And Joan was playing with her doll and carrying it on the deck, when all of a sudden, Joan dropped her baby doll. Now, her baby doll didn't go overboard. She was by a big vent, and this vent led all the way down, three floors, in fact, into the engine room. Do you see Joan's doll baby right there? It fell all the way down that vent into the engine room. Joan didn't know that it had fallen into the engine room, though, and she was sad. She thought she lost her doll baby into the ocean, like Bobby's ball. She started crying. Just 
like this man who he did rescue immediately? God knows the perfect time to answer our prayers. He promised, though, in his word, if we would ask and seek and knock, if we would come to him in prayer, that he would answer us. So never give up hope. Praying and seeking for God to answer your prayers. Because he will answer your prayers. Sometimes it might be super fast. Like the man that needed rescue. Because like what about if you're going down the road and a deer jumps in front of your car? You need help right then, don't you? You need to say, Jesus, please protect us. So that deer doesn't like come through the car window and, and hurt you really bad. Jesus can answer our prayers fast, just like that. And he loves to answer our prayers. He promised. Sometimes we might have to wait. But he promised us that he would always answer our prayers. To be right. That's one of God's promises. Let's stand. We're going to sing the song. Oh, 
by then, and that's exactly what she thought too. But you know, because Abraham believed in God and did what God told him to, that year they had a baby and they called him Isaac. I guess if Abraham could wait 25 years for a baby, I could wait until tomorrow if they walk the plane. You know God made a promise to us too. He has? Yup. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that, and here's the promise, whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Alright! You know what else? Jesus, God's son, said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness. Or walk the plank and swim with sharks. Well, that's not what the verse says. But it does say, but shall have the light of life. Wow, the Bible is full of promises. You want to play walk the plank with me, Archie? I promise to let you win. Oh!
step right over here for a second.